Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be going over six of my favorite free WordPress plugins that can help improve any WordPress website when it comes to website speed, getting additional traffic, working on your SEO, and tons more. So let's jump right in and check these out. So the first plugin I want to talk about is called Smush, and basically this plugin compresses all the images on your site without changing the quality of them. And it helps images load faster, which ultimately helps your website load faster. And this is really beneficial for SEO, which is search engine optimization, because Google puts a lot of emphasis now on website speed. So the faster the website is, the better that's going to be to help you out in the search results. It's also going to help your readers out too, especially if they have a slower internet connection. So I definitely recommend checking that one out if you want to increase your website speed. And this is the Smush plugin right here. The second plugin is called WP Statistics. So if you want to know more data about your website, this is a really popular plugin that can help you do that. And it'll actually show you your website traffic. It'll show you where your visitors are coming from, what country, what city they're from. And that'll really give you a good idea of who your readers really are. And this is the official WP Statistics plugin right here. This third plugin is really cool. It's called Polylang, and it will allow you to make your website readable in other languages. So if your website is in English and say the reader only speaks Spanish, this plugin will allow them to select a Spanish option so they can read along with your content. So if you want to increase the traffic on your website with multi-language speakers, this is a really great plugin to get started with. And this is what the plugin looks like. The fourth plugin is called All-in-One SEO. And this plugin will help optimize your WordPress website for SEO so you'll be able to rank higher in search engines. So if you don't really focus on SEO and maybe you want to get some exposure but don't know how, this is a good plugin to do it with. Or if you are focusing on SEO and you want an additional boost, you can do that with this plugin in under 10 minutes. And I'd say this is probably the top SEO plugin for WordPress, if not the top three for sure. And here's that plugin right here. The fifth plugin is called Really Simple SSL, and this will configure your website to run over HTTPS versus HTTP. And the simple way to explain that is HTTPS is more advanced and a lot more secure. And sometimes depending on your browser, you may notice you're on a website and it'll say up at the top, not secure. And if you look at the website address, it will begin with HTTP instead of HTTPS. But once it is a HTTPS site, it will say this website is secure. And having an HTTPS site has actually been a ranking factor when it comes to Google SEO since late 2014. So this is kind of a must have for your website these days. So if you're still running an HTTP, you might want to check this plugin out. And this is the really simple SSL plugin right here. The sixth and last plugin is a social button plugin called add to any share buttons. And what this does is allows you to add social media buttons to your website. If you don't have social media buttons on your site yet, this is one of the simplest plugins to use to do that. And I actually just did a tutorial video on this plugin recently that you can find at the end of this video or on my channel, and I'll put a link in the description. It'll walk you through the whole setup so you can have social buttons on your post, pages, and homepage of your website all for free. And here's what that plugin looks like right here. All right, guys, so I hope you found some of this useful. And if you're interested, go check out some of these free plugins that I mentioned. And if you enjoyed this video, you can hit the like button and subscribe too for more videos if you want. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. And I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. And then the add to any plugin is going to be located over here in the settings. If you go down here and click on add to any. And then once you get here, you're just going to go where it says add and remove services. And you're going to select all the buttons that you want. So I'm just going to unselect this email. Then I'm going to add Pinterest. 
And then I'm going to add LinkedIn. And I'm going to come down here. And right here is where you're going to select where you want the placement of the buttons to be. You can choose the bottom, the top, or top and bottom. Then you can also decide too if you want them to display on all these pages right here, or if not, just unselect them. And then after that, you can go down here and click on Save Changes. If you go up here to your site, you'll see that your buttons are right here now on your post. Also down here at the bottom. And then if you want these buttons to be floating too, you can have a separate section where they flow on the left side or right. You can go over to the floating section and then select where you want it. For example, left dock. You can choose to hide on mobile screens or not. And same thing here with the horizontal buttons. You guys can choose the placement of that if you want. And then you can click on Save Changes. And then if we go back here and refresh this, you'll notice that you have the Share buttons here on the side too. So now if you scroll down, you'll notice the buttons just sit there and they float down as you go down too. And this is a good plugin if you're just looking for share buttons and not so much ones that link to your actual social sites. And then again, if you go over here to the left sidebar and click on Sassy Social Share, it'll bring you to this page. Now this one looks a little more confusing than some of the others, but trust me, it's pretty easy to use because most of the stuff you can just keep as the default settings. And so under theme selection right here, this is where you're going to select how you want the standard interface theme to look and then the floating interface theme to look. And so the standing interface theme will be all the stuff in the post and then the floating interface theme will be the stuff that's floating over on the side of our website over here. So you can choose what shape you want for this. Pick any one of these. Select this rectangle. You can pretty much keep all this stuff right here. If you guys want to have a counter position anywhere, left, top, right, bottom. If that specific social button has that, it'll show up there in those specific spots. Same thing with this. Just configure your settings. I'm going to choose a rectangle. And that's all you need to do right there. And click Save Changes. And we're going to go back up here where it says Standard Interface. And this is where we're going to select what icons that we want to show up. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to get rid of a couple of these because there's a bunch of them already selected. So I'm just going to keep those three, but you can keep as, you can put as many of them as you want right there. And if you want to rearrange the icons, you can do that right here. And then once you have those ones selected, you can scroll down here. And since we're up at the standard interface, this is going to be all the stuff that's going to be located in our posts. So you can choose wherever you want the position of everything to be. I'm actually going to leave it at these default settings here. I'm going to scroll down here and you can see it says either it's on posts and pages. You can also have it show up for the home page or any of these other different categories here. If you want it to show the uh, social shares, you can go ahead and select that. Or if you want it to show the total shares, you can also do that too. And after that, after you have everything configured the way you want, just click on Save Changes. And some of this stuff right here, if you just click on OK and agree to it, they'll all go away. Then we're going to move over here to where it says floating interface, which again will be the stuff over here. Then we're just going to select the social buttons that we want here. Maybe for this one, I'll switch it up a little bit. I have Instagram. I'll keep WhatsApp. Then I'll add YouTube. I'll keep this like that. I'm going to put the YouTube at the front. And if we scroll down here, Pretty much the same thing as the standard interface stuff. And switch the background color. By just putting the hex color code in here, if you click on these little icons right here, 
it'll show you, like it says, spe specify the color of the hex code. So whatever color you want, you would put that hex code color in right here, and that would be the background color for it. You can choose where you want the alignment to be. I'm going to keep it on the left. Then I'm going to keep these right here so the placement shows up in the home page, the post, and the pages. And again, like I said, anytime if you guys don't know what any of these different things are right here, all you have to do is just click on this question mark button and it will show you exactly what it means. And so after you have that done, click on Save Changes. And there's some other boxes here you guys can go and check out, but that's all you need to do actually right now to have your social share icons pop up. And if you go up here, open up our page, you'll notice there's our icons right here.